In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I airbrush these clouds onto the background of a fondant covered cake. I started off by going online and printing out some PNG images of clouds. They don't have to be PNG, they could just be regular JPEG images. But I found that the sizes that I wanted, I have three different sizes here, and just printed them out on regular computer paper. If you have a Cricut, that's awesome too, because it will just cut it right out for you and you won't have to worry about this step. But I didn't use my Cricut because I wanted to show you how to do it without using a Cricut. So I just printed them out and I've got my exacto knife but this is actually a scalpel that I'm using here and I am just cutting around and cutting out the clouds so you you don't have to be perfect with this because nobody's going to notice up close if you've got like perfectly round edges of the clouds but you do want to get you know as close as possible and it's not very hard to do it all it goes pretty quickly you want to save the um, sheet that you cut it out of because you can use that as well and I'll show you how I incorporate that into this as well so cut out all three of your clouds and save the sheets that you cut them out of now um, for airbrushing I just wanted to give you some airbrushing tips because I know a lot of people have questions about airbrushing and are a little bit scared to use an airbrush here I'm just showing you how actually I clean my airbrush. I am using a my Clarella Cakes airbrush a system here, which I love, love, love. Um, she's totally awesome, and her airbrush system is totally awesome. So in order to clean your airbrush well after you use it, you want to add either airbrush cleaner or some kind of clear alcohol into like I just showed you the cup of the airbrush and then I have a paper towel I'm holding it against the tip of my gun and I have my airbrush on and now I'm squeezing the trigger as if I was actually airbrushing a cake but it's what it's doing is pushing the air back up into the gun and up through the liquid and it's just kind of cleaning out the inner parts of my airbrush there definitely do that after every time um, you're finished with your airbrush for the day the project and you want to put it away you want to run some clear alcohol through it just to clear out all that color and actually I usually first run some water through it and spray out the water and then I do that with the alcohol just to get it nice and clean okay so here I have sky blue AmeriColor airbrush color make sure you're using airbrush colors not gel and I'm just taking my cloud and I'm just gently pressing down on the trigger gently brushing, airbrushing color onto the cake around the edge of the clouds. Now what you see here is I started with, you know, I think my medium size cloud mm -hmm. and then I am using this cutout to kind of like airbrushing around half of the cloud when I um, put it behind that first cloud, not all the way, so that I don't have, you know, the stencil going over top of that first cloud. You can really do it however you want, but that's just a way to get kind of like the stacked cloud look. And then you saw right there that I used the cutout, the sheet that I cut the cloud out of, um, and airbrushed in that to get a darker cloud. You know, some clouds are stormy um, and have a little bit more color than other clouds. So I'm just kind of randomly placing them around that way. And I just keep stacking. So now I'll just, like here, I'll just airbrush around half of that cloud that to make it look like it's behind that stormy cloud. And that is basically, that's basically all there is to it. After I add all of my clouds, I just lightly go over certain spots, the top of the cake, the bottom of the cake with my blue. And then I'll just lightly go over some of the stark white clouds I have there lightly just to add a little bit of random blue color in there because you know clouds aren't perfect perfectly white they do have some color in them and spots as well throughout them um, and see down now I'm just airbrushing down a little bit and in general over top so that's it pretty easy you can really do it however you want this is what my cake looked like in the end I was pretty happy with it I love that it's just a quick simple technique to use when you want a nice background on your cake I used it as a background for a monkey cake that I made um, where the monkey was swinging from a branch looking like it was up in the air and it worked out really well 
You can find the full tutorial of how to make this monkey cake on cakeheads.com if you're interested. And I'll see you later.